a monster. That's why my mantra is being onslaught from the long star to my lungs. All right, what is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Jarese back at it with another episode of Real Talk. And today we got to talk about the cocaine that was found at the White House. So I guess it's the crack house. <laughs> Oh man, but first, before I play the news clip from YouTube, I want you to take a look at a news article from a different website. So, title reads, Cocaine found in West Wing of White House while President Biden was away. Of course! Yeah, conveniently away when they magically found the cocaine in the White House. Yeah. Okay, real convenient, but... I'll play along, I guess. <laughs> oh, and uh, before I forget, happy Independence Day, people, um, for those of you who celebrate uh, July 4th, because we don't celebrate uh, fake holidays over here like Juneteenth, just saying. And if you are one of those uh, weirdo blacks who celebrates uh, Juneteenth, stop it. Get some help. And stop running in the Victim Olympics. But uh, without further ado, let's look at this news clip. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's head to Washington, where an investigation is underway after white powder was found at the White House. Let's what? give you a live look there at the White House. That substance was discovered Sunday night, and testing revealed it was cocaine. I wonder whose white substance could it have been? Um, I got a few pictures from Google that might help. Maybe it was this guy, this this handsome man right here or maybe this handsome man right here could it have possibly been his white powder J just the thought it, it it definitely couldn't have been hunters right because <laughs> like i'm pretty sure biden didn't go in the room and was like damn son where'd you find this <sighs> oh that's some good coke hunter <laughs> youtube is gonna censor this video so bad Please make sure you share this video because YouTube is going to be like, Oh, hell no! But anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the clip. Now, the Secret Service wants to know how that cocaine ended up inside the building. Y'all don't know? Y'all don't know? As if there's not an entourage of people who probably don't get screened and patted down. I'm sure there's a, a list of trusted individuals who just get free access to the White House that could have easily uh, snuck in this um, alleged cocaine. But, you know, there, there, there's definitely not a list, right? What? News Nation's Evan Lambert joins us live. And Evan, people initially had to be evacuated because of this. Yeah, Nicole, this all led to a brief evacuation on Sunday night. We are just now finding out about it today, though. What do they think it was? Uh, what is that stuff uh, that they were sending in the mail back in the day? Well, what was it? Anthrax, I think. After the Washington Post first reported on this, News Nation was able to obtain dispatch audio and a DC fire source confirms to us that this preliminarily tested positive for cocaine. A source. Hey, yo, what the fuck? First adding that it was found in a West Wing work area. Take a listen to this dispatch audio. We have a yellow bar stating cocaine. Hide your forearm. And officials have pointed out that some tours go through the West Wing. The substance was found. Of course, <laughs> some tours go through the West Wing because, yeah, they're going to try to blame this on the public. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you freaking kidding me? Some tours go through the West Wing. So it, it, it could have possibly been a, a, um, a tourist. Just They were just going through the tour of the White House and they just drop their bag of coke there to de to destroy the <laughs> administration and make us look bad right found by secret service agents doing routine rounds on sunday evening and was not said to be found in any particular office how mm -hmm. see notice they're trying to put as little specifics as possible right tours go through the west wing it wasn't found in any specific office and there's definitely not a list of trusted individuals who get free access to said White House that don't go through any intensive screening, right? 
Okay, and you want me to believe this. Why? Like, oh my freaking god. Wow! How the substance got into the White House and who it belonged to are all under investigation by the Secret Service. In a statement, spokesman Anthony Gu Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna... Um, what, was it in a little baggie? Could they uh, dust for fingerprints? Or could they possibly get some uh, DNA off of that bag? Because I'm sure it's not gonna be linked to this guy, right? Guglielmi said, quote, on Sunday evening, the White House complex went into a precautionary closure as officers from the Secret Service Uniformed Division investigated an unknown item found inside a work area. The D.C. Fire Department was called to evaluate and quickly determined the item to be non-hazardous. The item was sent for further evaluation and an investigation into the cause and manner of how it entered the White House is pending. Now, President Biden was not at the White House on Sunday. He was at Camp David. He is back here this morning. He came back for several events this afternoon, including a barbecue for the 4th of July hosted by the president and the first lady for military families. Nicole. All right, Evan Lambert live there in D.C. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com. Ah, oh, man, how convenient. A anybody find it weird that we got all these um, strange occurrences happening during the most popular president in U.S. history's uh, term in office? Anybody find that strange? This is supposed to be the most popular president, you know, had the most votes. You know, he's a Democrat. He served under um, Barack Obama, so he can't be racist. And... You know, he's got um, a son who, um, didn't they say he died and um, like one of his sons died of brain cancer and then they, didn't they say he had another son who was like a veteran who died in combat? And I guess his final son is the one who was in the Marine Reserves who got kicked out for crack. But yeah, this guy right here, this guy's a looker, yep. Oh man, you know what they say though. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That is fantastic. Oh, my God. All right. So, article time. Cocaine found in the West Wing of White House while President Biden was away. What do we know? So, the White House was temporarily closed on Sunday evening after Secret Service agents discovered a white powder substance suspected to be cocaine inside a work area in the West Wing. The Secret Service said in a statement, the White House was temporarily closed to allow members of law enforcement to investigate the substance, and that the District of Columbia Fire Department assisted in evaluating the substance. The Fire Department quickly determined the item to be non-hazardous after an initial investigation, a spokesperson for the Secret Service said. A fire department and emergency medical services field test Sunday evening identified a yellow bar, meaning cocaine, hydrochloride, after a dispatch at 8.49 p.m. according to a publicly available recording of the encrypted call. Earlier in the evening, D.C. fire and EMS crews were dispatched to 17th Street, which borders the White House. Neither call, however, mentioned the White House says members of the public who tour the White House usually are allowed to visit the East Wing. So the story's already not aligning and the residents. Because remember, they said the West Wing and this article says the East Wing. Tour members are not typically permitted to visit the West Wing. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, well, we got him. <laughs> got him. But, oh my God, I'm so going to replace my Stream Deck clips. Probably this weekend. I'll probably put some uh, new clips. I need to revamp my Stream Deck. But, that's actually amazing. Ah, says, which is where the president, vice president, and other senior administration officials have their offices. Oh, wow. So, the substance discovered in the White House will undergo further tests according to the Secret Service. The item was sent for further evaluation and an investigation into the cause and manner of how it entered the White House is pending. Okay, so that's fantastic. So, what do we have here? What I think allegedly happened, 
I gotta make sure I say allegedly. Um, don't limit my YouTube or don't limit my uh, reach YouTube because I'm being PG-13 with this one. What I think allegedly happened is this um, this handsome individual right here known as Hunter Biden uh, probably had a hole in his pocket <laughs> and it probably slipped out and then they were probably like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? <laughs> and then now we have an investigation because um, I guess um, the agent who found it probably wasn't in the loop of, hey, if you find any white powder, it's probably Hunter's. So yeah, just just keep it on the low. Just keep it on the hush hush. <laughs> so um, I'm pretty sure um, the agent who found that uh, bag's career is probably a uh, dead like. Uh... But that's neither here nor there. Oh my God, I love it. Just all of these great things in the term of the most popular president in US history. But, <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know, I don't know. I, I honestly don't, I don't, I just, I really don't. But, <laughs> oh man. Here, I'll put on the Wozniak voice for this one. Remember, this is what you voted for, uh, black people, liberals, the leftists, Democrats. This is what you voted for. So, now that we're getting all these exposures, I mean, nothing's gonna happen at the end of the day, but it's trying to wake some people up. So, this is something that is very needed in society right now. Cause it just goes to show that Democrats are just as full of crap as everybody else. But that's neither here nor there. But with that, that's all I got. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Did I make a little bit of sense? Did I make a lot of sense? Did I make too much sense? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Oh, and bruh, I swear to God, I did not plan this, but I am so patriotic today. I literally didn't plan this, but I got on a white tee. I got on my blue Calvin Klein shorts. And I wore my red Chuck Taylor's day unintentionally. And then check out the wrist game. <laughs> red, white, and blue, baby. Bro, I was the most patriotic Negro out there today. It was crazy. Damn! I know I look good. I know I look good. It's okay, though. It's okay. You can hate. <laughs> but it's been your boy, Jerry's back with another episode of Real Talk. I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, and uh, Natasha, um, I am going to hit you up and we will plan something um, for probably Friday or Saturday. I didn't forget about you, I promise. <laughs> it's one of the queens, one of the OG queens of the channel. So, you know, I got to give her some respect. So we're going to do a live show together, Natasha. But anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, it's been your boy Jerry's back with another episode of Real Talk. I'm out of here, y'all. We on the road to 2K, baby. Peace. Yo, say you ball, say you ball.